Was it eight this morning? It was eight. This it was morning. eight. So was it 50, 51, 52 50 now? 52. Wow. Now I'm more excited. I mean, the show's nominated again, and Cat, of course, but Sonia, finally. I know. I know. So she deserved it last year, in truth. So I'm really pleased for her this year. Yeah. Cool. And what dance was it? Was it the Ricky and Jessica dance? What dance was it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and 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 the. Oh, I can't ever remember what they're called, to be honest with you. Have a great day. But there's three. No, she's nominated for her body of work. Yeah. Travis. I mean, who ever thought Travis auditions in season two? Goes on, comes runner up. Whoever thought he'd come and audition in drag? Drag, yeah. Uh, and then become a great choreographer and be Emmy nominated. And now Emmy nominated once again. That's fantastic. And Spencer. And Spencer Lift. And I don't know if you saw it, but Spencer Lift has just staged Spring Awakening with Deaf West. Uh, and it's an incredible production with deaf actors. Uh, and, uh, and it was just stunning. So, and that's going to Broadway now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, how excited are you this morning? You wake up and here's the show, and I mean, here's the show. We got the season going on, and it's still going. I knew Cat was presenting. So, uh, and I also knew that it was going out at eight thirty. So, which is three hours later than it is. So, I actually watched this morning, and I was thrilled. So, yeah, it was great to hear. I didn't hear all of the nominations until later on. But just hearing the show is nominated and Cat was nominated, I was thrilled. Yeah, it was it was definitely now let's talk about the new season. Now we first of all, okay, first of all, we got Ricky last year's winner on, on on the town, and um, and Mindy Misty is going on on the town and all that. I mean, what how excited? Well, uh, you know, as the producer of On the Town, I'm thrilled. Yeah. But I'm also, as the producer of So You Think You Can Dance, thrilled that we're actually not just giving the winner some money, yeah. but we're actually getting them a job. Because you know what it's like out there, it's so tough to get a job as a professional dancer. There's so many people going for the same job that, you know, you're often turned down. So to be able to get one of the kids a job, and the whole of Broadway now, all the Broadway shows, nearly, nearly all the Broadway shows have got a So You Think You Can Dance dancer in, or a So You Think You Can Dance choreographer. That is so fantastic. So now we got this season. We got the stage versus sweet uh, versus sweet. We got Travis versus Twitch. How has it been just setting it up? And we were down watching some of the rehearsals. I mean, just that whole element. Well, this week is going to be the, the the game changer. This week, you know, you've got people doing the salsa that have only ever done break dance, and you've got people doing Broadway that have only ever done break dancing. So this week, you know, we're going to see some okay, real heavy so changes. What I've loved so far is okay. the passion that Twitch and Travis are bringing to it. I mean, Travis really turned on us last week. You know? oh, whoa, Travis, um, which is great. You know, I want them to be that passionate about it. You know, I don't want them turning around saying those judges don't know what they're talking about. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly uh, pleased with the pair of them for their support. They really, they want to win. Um, uh, so I think they've got a bit of a problem on their hands this week, though. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very interesting. Now, next week we have the show on twice. We have the Monday episode and then we have the special anniversary episodes. And we're going to some of the favorite dancers. Tuesday, Tuesday we're bringing back some loved ones so that you're going to see some fabulous routines again. I think we might talk Travis and twist his arm into doing the bench routine. There's lots. There's a yeah, is it? There, well, there's a lot of great routines. If we could bring back Hawk and maybe do the hummingbird, and the, that's your fa second favorite. So we're doing the right thing here. For you. Maybe you'll watch Tuesday's show, huh? Of course, I'm going to watch Tuesday's show. And National Dance Day. Yeah, no, but on Tuesday's show we're also going to be showing some of the highlights across the ten years. You know, we've got to bring sex back into it somewhere, haven't we? So it's, uh, there'll be a lot of fun as well as some great dancing on Tuesday. And it's going to be a fantastic show, whatever. And you're here today at the Prism Awards. Yeah, uh, I, I've been asked to present today. I think it's really important that we highlight and present properly some of the problems facing us. Uh, and this is rewarding the people, the program makers that have done that today and show the honesty of these problems uh, and depicting it in the correct way. You know, I, I've made mistakes in the past with things that I've said on the programs 
uh, you know, until you fully understand the depth and the nature and the medical conditions involved, you know, you should, you know, I should tell myself to keep my mouth shut. And with social media, they're like all over you. Yeah. Now we got Paula and Jason, yeah. who's, who has been on the show before as um, guest judges, and now working out the chemistry and all that. How's that working out? Well, I'm loving it because uh, I'm loving people each in their words. Because yeah. uh, what does Jason Derulo? What does Jason Derulo know about it? He's a pop singer. Well, he's a pop singer that actually trained. He's a tap dancer. He trained in jazz and ballet, and besides that, he's a great dancer and performer. So he can hold his own and knows what's right and what's wrong. Paula Abdul, I think a lot of people forgot, they forgot. that she was a yeah. dancer, choreographer, and, and the most rewarded choreographer. So, you know, I think now they're beginning to realize that, you know, things are settling down. People don't like change, is the fact of it. And unless there is change, you're not going forward. And I like to keep moving forward. I'm thrilled that, you know, we have got for the first time ever in the Special Olympics, a dance competition. Uh, and Cody, that was on our show, has been invited by the Olympics Committee to represent America. And so 17 countries are participating in the dance competition. I'm thrilled with that. And, and of course, we've got National Dance Day on the 25th. The routines choreographed by Twitch and Travis. So go online. I hope you're learning them. Oh yeah, I'll have to learn one this year. Yeah, yeah. Twitch has got an easy one for you to do. You know it. All right. You and me both the easy one. Uh, and then we've got the um, Dizzy Feet Foundation's uh, big gala coming up at the Club Nokia. A lot of dance going on. A lot of dance. It's always great. We need dance. Well, always great to see you. Thank you very much. See you next week. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.